Imagine swimming in the open ocean and seeing a shadow longer than a bus glide beneath you. Massive jaws open wide, each tooth bigger than your hand. In an instant, the water churns, and your world turns into a storm of foam and blood. This was no great white shark. This was Megalodon, the largest predatory shark to ever exist, a creature so powerful it ruled the seas for millions of years. Our story begins about 23 million years ago, in the Miocene Epoch. The Earth was warmer than today, and the oceans teemed with life. Whales, many species much smaller than modern ones, cruised the seas in massive numbers. Sea cows, giant turtles, seals, and schools of tuna filled the warm waters. It was a buffet, and the perfect environment for a predator to grow to unimaginable size. In this oceanic Eden, Otidus megalodon, meaning big tooth, emerged. Descended from a line of large predatory sharks, it became the ocean's apex predator, perfectly adapted to dominate its watery kingdom. Estimates vary, but most scientists place megalodon's maximum length between 50 and 60 feet three times the size of the largest great white shark. Its weight? Possibly over 60 metric tons. Every part of its body was designed for one thing, overpowering massive prey. Its jaws were a living guillotine, a bite force exceeding 40,000 pounds per square inch, enough to crush a car, drove serrated teeth up to seven inches long into flesh and bone. Its skeleton, made of cartilage like modern sharks, was light yet strong, allowing it to move with surprising speed for its size. Megalodon didn't waste energy chasing small fish. Its prey of choice was the ocean's largest animals, whales, seals, and sea turtles. Fossilized whale bones bear the unmistakable marks of megalodon's teeth, often in areas like the chest and fins, suggesting a deadly strategy. It likely used surprise attacks, ambushing from below, then delivering a crippling bite to disable its target. A single strike could shatter ribs and rupture organs. Once the prey was weakened, Megalodon would return to feed, sometimes scavenging on carcasses for days. Megalodon's range was truly global. Fossils have been found on every continent except Antarctica. Warm, shallow seas were its preferred hunting grounds, especially coastal areas where whales came to breed and give birth. These were Megalodon's killing zones where the predator could ambush vulnerable prey in confined waters. Its dominance lasted for nearly 20 million years. Through changing climates and shifting oceans, few animals in Earth's history have held the role of apex predator for so long. But even the most fearsome predator can fall. Around 3.6 million years ago, Megalodon vanished. Why? The answer lies in a combination of climate change and competition. As the Pliocene epoch cooled, polar ice expanded and sea levels dropped. Whale populations shifted toward colder waters, far from Megalodon's warm water comfort zone. At the same time, a new predator rose, the orca, hunting in coordinated packs and thriving in diverse environments. Smaller, faster, and more adaptable, they filled ecological niches that Megalodon could not. Today, only its teeth remain, scattered in sediments worldwide. Each is a fossilized dagger a relic of an ocean ruled by giants. 
While myths and fiction place Megalodon in modern waters, science tells us it is long gone. But its story continues to fascinate. A reminder of nature's power and the impermanence of even the mightiest predator, Megalodon's ocean was a world of abundance, power, and peril. It ruled without question until the seas themselves change the rules. Its rise and fall remind us that no throne is eternal. So here's my question for you. If Megalodon were alive today, do you think it could survive alongside modern orcas? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your theories. And if you're ready for more incredible journeys into Earth's astonishing prehistoric past, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Terra Time Capsules, and hit that notification bell so you never miss our next adventure. Keep exploring the grand, wild history of our planet with us.